everyone. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Our topic today is God has the final say. God has the final say. The book of Numbers 23, 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Isaiah 55, 11 says, So shall my word be, be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where I sent it. Jeremiah 1, 2 said, Then says the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform. No matter what happens, God's word, God's holy word is irrevocable. God and his words are one. The first war on the planet Earth was the war of words between Adam, Eve, and Satan. The enemy is always fighting to supplement God's promises. And God's holy word in your life, the enemy is ask, asking, has God said, and God is ever standing by his word to perform it. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 30 to 31. There is no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel against the Lord. Every day the enemy is waging war to steal the promises of God concerning your healing, prosperity, and breakthrough. God's word is final in your life. When the enemy came to tempt Jesus, he overcome by declaring what God has said. Jesus said, it is written. The living word of God can never be nullified. Take your stand today. For God has the final say. God is not a man that he will lie, neither the son of man that he will repent. Hallelujah. Amen. So in everything you have in this life, look unto God. The living word of God can never be nullified. Take your stand today, for God has the final say. God is not a man that he will lie, and the son of man that he will repent. Heaven and earth may pass away, but God's word stands fulfilled in your life. If you don't quit, the enemy will surely quit. Isaiah 40 verse 8. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Amen. Jehovah God will never retreat his word. Psalm 89.34 My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. God is not a covenant breaker. What he has promised and f- fulfilled now in your life. Keep on declaring God's word over your situation. The word of God will surely produce in your life. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8, 8 says, But speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Get your miracle through the word. You will surely win with the word of God. Proverbs 35. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. The word of God will surely break all barriers and bring into existence what has never existed in your life. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hold on to God's holy word and his promises. Be fully persuaded what God has promised. He will surely perform God's word works. Choose to believe. Luke chapter 1 verse 45 And blessed is she that believe, for there shall be a performance of those things which we are told have from the Lord. Let us, in this life we live now, there are so many things that may be a problem for you. And what will you say? You just go and pray and leave everything in the hand of the Lord Almighty. God Almighty will let you get in a will never let you get in a problem that he can't get you out. He wouldn't have let the three Hebrew teenagers be thrown into a furnace. 
If you don't know the fire wasn't going to harm them, King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was in control. He thought he had the final say that the fire would finish them off. That's what always happened. But this time, he wasn't dealing with ordinary people. He was dealing with children of the Most High God. They came out without any smell of smoke. There is something about you that makes you unstoppable. You have an advantage. God not only breathed life into you, but he put a hedge of protection around you. Nothing can touch you without his permission. You are at the mercy of bad breaks, sickness, accidents, people against you. None of that can stop your destiny. Well, if I can get this provision, this work now, this will do this, I'll get my this. No, just leave your yourself to God. Your boss does not hold the final say. It's only Almighty God that holds the final say. When the prophet Samuel came to Jesse's house to choose one of his sons as the next king of Israel, Jesse lined up seven of his sons said, all right, Samuel, take your pick. He didn't bother to bring his youngest son David in, in from the shepherd's field. He had already ruled him out thought he's too young, too small, not talented, David not king material. If people had the final say, this will be a problem. If people determine our destiny, we will have never heard of David. But when people have you out, it may hurt, but that doesn't stop your purpose. Samuel said, Jesse, I don't see a king in these songs. Do you have any other song? This shows that what God has for you won't go to anyone else at all. People may try to manipulate things, discredit you, leave you out. Don't worry. God is on the throne. He's pulling the strings. He knew who wasn't going to let, like you, who was going to try to push you down. You don't have to try to get even. Stay on the high road and what has your name on it will come to you. Jesse sent word for David to come into the house. When Samuel saw him, first thing he said, there is the ne This is the next king of Israel. God doesn't choose the way we choose. We look on the outside, the size, the talent, the personality. God looks at the heart. People may have counted you out, but God has already counted you in. He overrides what people say, he overrides the injustice. We thank God for this beautiful day. We thank God for this beautiful time. There is nothing our God cannot do. So, Almighty God has the final say. Hallelujah.